Hey everyone, how's it going? So Halloween is fast approaching, and it's one of my favorite holidays. It's a maker holiday. Even people that aren't makers make things on it. They make costumes, props, all sorts of things. And this year I wanted to try and create something kind of scary. So I figured, what's scarier than a jack-in-the-box? Well, they're pretty scary on their own. How about a haunted jack-in-the-box? One that self-winds pops up on its own. We're going to be using a Raspberry Pi in this, Pi camera, and some motors. Should be pretty fun. Let's get to it. Okay, so here are a few of the parts we're going to be using for this project. I'm making this up as we go along, as usual, so some might change later on, but these are probably what I'll be using. Here's the Raspberry Pi. This is the Model B3, which means it has Wi-Fi. That'll probably come in handy later. Here's a geared motor, a DC motor, 298 to 1 ratio. It's pretty extreme, but you'll see why that's being used. Here's a servo I'm thinking of using. I'm not sure yet, but we'll try it out. Raspberry Pi camera. Uh, this isn't the no IR version, but I would recommend getting that one. I'm probably going to remove the IR filter from this because you might want to use this in the dark with IR lights, which would be cool. Also, you'll need a motor driver, so I'm again using the DRV8835. I use it a lot. And then, of course, the jack in the box that I cut the bottom out of already, and it's all ready to go. So right now I'm going to put together all those electronic components on a proto board and we'll test out a program to make sure this all works because if it doesn't, what's the point of building it? So let's go. Okay, so right now I have it kind of connected together with what I want. Basically... We've got a separate power supply for the motors, obviously, but I'm actually going to power the Pi with it right now. Servo to GPIO 12, and I think the motor is hooked up to 5 and 6, and they're connected to the driver, and then we've got the camera. So I'm going to connect to it over the network and test out each individual component, and then maybe put something together to make sure they all work together. Okay, now that I've got it all wired up, I wrote a really quick Python script just to test everything out. I always like to do this before I get it all assembled to make everything it's going to work together. So, what the program does, when I first run it, it's going to move the servo. Camera started up. When I bring my face into the view of the camera, the motor will start moving. So when I look at it, the motor starts rotating. Cool. Now let's uh, make some parts so we can 3D print them and assemble the rest of this project. So it is done and it's working beautifully. I ended up adding a couple extra components. I added a hall effect switch in there, which is a little module and it reads a magnet so that it doesn't have to be triggered by the manual latch. 
it's actually triggered by the servo and that way you can just keep running it and it doesn't actually have to fire every time. In the program there's going to be a couple of different scenarios so when it detects someone it could suddenly just pop up without making any noise it could speed up the winding but not pop up until the person gets to a certain distance really the possibilities are endless you can play around with this I'm gonna play around and try to make some more interesting more scary things the motor's a bit loud but I think it's still pretty good I managed to get it a little bit quieter I used a different motor than I anticipated originally I used a hundred to one ratio so the way the motor system works is there's just a small pulley that I 3D printed and put on the motor. Then there's a pulley on the arm of the music box that I screwed on and used some double-sided tape so that it wouldn't slip. And then between them there's just a rubber band that is acting as the pulley. So it works pretty well. So it's done and if you want to make one of these you know, all the stuff will be provided. There'll be uh, a Hackaday link, instructables, all that. Links down below, GitHub for the code, and the 3D printed files. And you don't have to 3D print that base. You could uh, make it out of wood, out of plastic. The things are just loosely placed in there. It's not like a specific circuit board or anything. The camera needs a specific hole, but you know, you could hot glue it. I use a lot of double-sided tape. It's my favorite thing to use because it works so well. And yeah, there you go. The haunted DIY Raspberry Pi Jack in the Box. Haven't seen one of these before. Anyways, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to. And everyone, have a happy Halloween.